Hi. It says I'm live. Yes, this is my Sunday, 4 o'clock, uh, what sold video. So uh, I sold a little better than last week, but not that much better. But I had a couple uh, really nice sales. And um, that sort of made me made up for the rest of the week. Uh, today, I've only sold one thing so far, but <clears throat> hopefully evening will come. And uh, I seem to do better uh, in the evening on the weekends. Sales seem to come in like Saturday more after 4 or 5 o'clock and uh, Sunday the same. So hopefully I'll get more sales in today. Uh, I looked around my house. I shopped my house. Shopped my house this week. Uh, I listed everything, all the clothes I had except I think one piece, that sparkly piece. Uh, I, I photographed it and I just have to list it. But everything else is on. And uh, I even went on yesterday. I did spend a lot of time yesterday and today researching things from around my house. I did get some things on yesterday that I found around the house. Nothing big, just little, some electronic things. And uh, I mean things by, I mean like three or four <laughs> items. That's all. It took so much time to look things up uh, when you're doing things that you're not used to doing. Anything other than clothes, where I know where to look those up. But at least we have Terapeak. Uh, if you have an eBay store, the premium store or better, you get Terapeak for free. And so it's a search, uh, something that you can search on. And you can also get Spellhound uh, for free. Just uh, Google Spellhound on uh, and use the free, the one that's free. And then you can search on all different platforms. Now, I, the Terapeak only searches on eBay. So, but it's useful if that's where you want to put it. So most of this home good things uh, weren't home goods that I would be putting on Poshmark. It's stuff that I would just be putting on eBay. So I just used Terapeak. Uh, I did, I'll talk about that after I do the, uh, uh, the things that sold. I'm sort of waiting for anybody that wants to come in. So I'll have somebody to talk to. <laughs> I didn't put uh, a notice out that I was going to be on, but I think the people that uh, watch me, uh, they know that I'm on Sundays and I'm also on Wednesdays. Wednesdays at 1, Sundays at 4. So, <clears throat> but I don't have that big of a following yet. So, I did feed the dog half of his dinner because uh, I hear him prancing around out there. I will say that my chickens... I haven't had to clip their wings because after I uh, after I mended the holes in the fence, there were two of them, and I mended those, and only one time since then, one chicken got out, and she may have flown over. But I think the rest of them were all getting out through these two holes. So hopefully... Uh, the last two days, nobody has gotten loose or gotten out. Dexter, no. He's going to just stand and stare at me the whole thing, time, I think. Uh, but the chickens have been good. I haven't clipped their wings yet. <laughs> if I do clip their wings, I would love to set up um, my GoPro camera inside the coop. 
I want to do it. I put a stool out there inside their coop so I have something to sit on. And I have the scissors ready out there. <laughs> but uh, I haven't had to do it so far. I, I probably will sooner or later. But I wanted to set up the GoPro camera in there and uh, make a video of it if I do do it. So it's easier. I could do it at night, like after dusk when this they've gone to roost. And then it's it's very easy. You just pick the chicken off the roost, and they're, they're sort of sleepy, groggy. They sort of goes, go in a daze uh, after dark. and But the trouble is it's going to be too dark in there to do any videos. So that's not going to be any good. So I will have to do it during the day, but I will keep them contained in the coop so that I can at least catch them with not too much trouble. <laughs> so let, let's get started on the sharing the screen, and uh, I will tell you what I sold this past week. <clears throat> Okay, the first thing, uh, Bumblebee isn't here yet, but uh, the first thing I sold, this was last Sunday. This came in after the video that I did last Sunday, so this came in later. Uh, this was that little t-shirt by Bowden, had little sunglasses all over it. It was really cute. It was a uh, extra large size real roomy size, and that sold on um, the 10% off sale, and it sold for $23.77, and they paid $4.50 shipping on that. <clears throat> so let's see. The next thing is uh, a little jacket, a little like a suit jacket by Casper. Casper makes a lot of women's suits. Uh, this is black and white, sort of a dressy check, gingham check. This was a really cute jacket. I was surprised I had this for so long. This, it's a common size 10 also. Uh, one button suit and the cuffs of the sleeves just sort of rolled up and made a little cuff there. And it was a really cute jacket. And that sold for an offer to watchers that I sent out. And they bought it for $19.77. And they paid $8 shipping uh, to get it. Now, it cost me $10.80, so I lost a little bit in the shipping. That's something else I'm going to talk about at the end. A couple shipping uh, mistakes during this week. Uh, but this was an older item. I no longer put a, uh, if it's going to go in a box that I don't know where it's going, especially since the post office has raised rates, I usually do calculated shipping on things that weigh that it's going to go uh, US uh, PS priority. So anyway, it went to Sandy, Utah. Uh, that first uh, little t-shirt went to Long Beach, California, the one with the sunglasses. And this is, went to Sandy, Utah, this little jacket. <clears throat> okay, these Levi's signature, these were at-the-waist jeans in black, and they were a boot cut, and they were an 8 medium. And... Uh, Levi's, you can tell by the furry rug I have it on that these I've had these quite a while. So I did send an offer to Watchers for $18.77, and that's what they sold for. And they went to Edison, New Jersey. And those were uh, sold on, a, on Tuesday. I don't know if I had any sales. I didn't have any zero days at least, uh, even if I just sold one thing, still wasn't a zero day. Uh, okay, this is a Vince Camuto 
uh, top, large draped top in this gray, sort of crisscrossed in the front there and had a elastic around the uh, arm sleeves and the hip area. And uh, that went for free shipping and it's sold for $26.09 the sale price. And it was very light weight. That's why I put free shipping on that piece. And this J. Crew, the women's, this was silk, A line. I thought this was such a pretty floral print. It was browns and blues. And uh, that was a really lightweight, also, because I'm not even sure if this was lined. I don't have written on there, but it seems to me I remember, or maybe it just weighed really, it was really light, even with lining. Um, it was probably lined. It was all silk. So it went for $24.29, the sale price, and it had free shipping on that because it was so light. Susan Graver, this is a women's uh, button front blouse in the um, animal print. All different kinds of prints on there, all different animals. I see giraffe, I see leopard. Cheetah, tiger, all kinds. <laughs> uh, but that sold for $17. That was a best offer, which I did take. And uh, I paid $4 in shipping on that. Now, it cost me $4.46. So instead of making a little bit, I lost $0.46 cents on that. Plus, I took a lower offer. That went to Rancho Cordova, California. Uh, the crew, the uh, A-line skirt that I showed you right before this went to Dallas, Texas. California and Texas. Uh, they, okay, this was a very nice sale. This was a Poshmark sale. Uh, the vintage Talbots, this was a little size 4 uh, camel hair. 100% camel hair blazer, uh, two button, and that sold for $60, which was the price I had on it, and which made me very happy. Went to San Jose, California, and I made $48 on that item out of the 60 <clears throat> after uh, Poshmark's fees. Here's a Bowden sheath dress uh, in a size 6. This was silk blend and it had sort of beading up at the top there at the neckline. Those are all little beads. Uh, I've had this for quite a long time. And that sold for, for the sale price, though, of $24.29. And it went... Uh, it was silk blend. It was lightweight, so I put free shipping on that. That might have helped it sell because I have had it a while. And that went to, where did that go to? Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Camp Lejeune. I hear sto heard stories about that from my husband. He was a Marine. <laughs> okay. A pair of Avia, $99.99. These are arch rocker shoes. They have the rocker sole on them. They're for um, uh, exercising your legs, uh, toning, toning your legs up when they have these rocker soles on it. They're walking shoes. These were white and silver, and they were size 7. And they sold for... $38.69 sale price. That was a nice sale, too. Then I sold this buckle. This was a strange uh, top. It was a stretch top. It was all lace. You could see through it. Uh, so you'd have to wear something under it, like a bodysuit or something, I suppose. It was this dark red lace, tunic length, uh, stretchy. And I did send an offer to Watchers for $18.77, and somebody took me up on that, and that went to Lemon Springs, North Carolina. 
Then a Poshmark sale. This was the purse, the sack. Uh, this was the purse that my daughter was here when I uh, was listing it. She says that's the ugliest purse I ever saw. And I really like this purse. In fact, if we, if I still had it come f this fall, I probably would have taken it out of inventory and used it because I really liked this purse. It was made to look like straw. It wasn't really straw, but it was made to look like that. And uh, it was crocheted. And it was sold for $25. It went to Parker, Colorado. And I got $20 uh, from that sale. Jamie Saddock, uh, women's. I used to sell uh, Jamie Saddock things really fast. This I've had around for quite a while. It's because there isn't anything really different on it except the snaps and that little pocket. But sometimes Jamie Saddock uh, things have really odd things uh, on the shoulders or in the just uh, strange little things that, that uh, make it sell, I think, because it, it's really different. But this sold, I took a best offer of $20 on this top. It was bright orange. They paid $4.50 in shipping, and it went to Wesley Chapel, Florida. Get back up there. Ah, oh, here's my good sale. I put this cool KUHL Project Men's Large Lightweight Down Vest. I put it on, it sold within six hours, and it sold for the full price of $71.99 uh, with $8 shipping. Now I did pay, I paid $10.85 to get it to California because it went to San Bruno, California. But uh, that's all right because it was such a nice sale and sold so quickly. So that was my favorite sale of the uh, that and the that camel hair blazer. And I sold this fossil women's hobo bag. I've had this for a long time because when I first started putting uh, purses on, I would put a scarf with it just to, uh, and I only put them on Poshmark when I first started. But then I switched and put them on both. So this um, little hobo bag, I took a best offer. I should have looked uh, because I had this that I was going to ship at standard shipping. It weighed too much to go uh, like a first class. And so I sent it priority, which I had to pay over what they did. They paid five dollars in shipping, and it cost me seven ninety six, almost eight dollars. So it cost me. An, first of all, I took ten dollars as a best offer. Then I lost three dollars with the shipping. So this was a horrible sale for me. <laughs> but I've had this for quite a while, and it's gone. So I guess that's okay. Okay. I don't have down, oh, Bluff City, Tennessee, that purse went to. Bluff City, Bluff City, Tennessee. Okay, yesterday I sold this Nike running hooded jacket in this gray with the green uh, block color on the top. And that sold as a best offer of $22. This was another shipping error on my part. I didn't realize this had free shipping on it. And uh, I took the best offer of $22 on it. So it wasn't as good of a sale as I would have liked, but because the shipping was five, 12. So, okay, this pair of Lee's Chino pants, uh, size eight, they had the comfort waistband on them and flap pockets on the back 
and those uh, I did take a best off for fifteen dollars on those and you can bet I checked the shipping before I did that and uh, they sh they paid seven fifty five for priority shipping so those went to Altoona Florida and this last thing this J Crew women's uh, linen pullover red uh, blouse had tucking on the front here. Um, they went back and forth, back and forth with me with the price. I finally, we finally settled on seventeen fifty, and I'm not sure where it's going. They haven't paid me yet, uh, so when they do, I'll get the slip and know where it's going. But I'm not sure where it's going uh, yet. But that should be a good sale. I already took it off Poshmark, so I certainly hope that they pay for it. Uh, and that was my week of sales so far. Hopefully I'll sell some more today. And I'm going to see if I can get back here. here. That now. There I am. Hi, Bumblebee and Posh Planet. Nick and Andrea. Hi, Nick. You know, I was thinking about you, Nick. I have, let me show you, if you're still here. I have this huge bag of miscellaneous cords, chargers, all kinds of things. There's even a parts, I think it's a whole auto, auto box. Auto box? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, for an older iPhone. This was in here too. Believe me, if it didn't cost me so much to ship it to you, Nick, I would just give you this. <laughs> I would love to just send this to you because you, you know what all this stuff is. I don't know what any of it is. I don't know how to list it. The most I could do is just do a grab bag. Uh, there's some, there's some Apple things in here. I can do a grab bag, auction it off, and see. I don't know. I hate to auction things because I never do well with auctions. Or I could just set a price. But there's a huge amount of stuff in here. And even th some things that I couldn't even fit, uh, fit in there yet that's going in there. So, yeah. Nick, I would send this to you if it didn't cost so much uh, to send it. I'm sure it would cost $25 or more. This is Apple stuff can be worth. I know. But I don't even know how to look it up because I'm not even sure. And that's sad because I'm an Apple person. And it was mine. <laughs> there is a, one is a dock, the iPhone uh 3G dock, this little thing. If I could look that up. Um, the auto box, auto box, is for a uh, probably for a, an iPhone 5, maybe. It's a small, a small I, iPhone, and it used to be mine. So it was either the five or the six, uh, even the four, maybe. I don't know. So I don't know. Yeah, I'll list it somehow, but probably not one by one. I may pull the Apple stuff out, but uh, the rest of it I'll just do as a uh, bag. If you input the part number that will be written on each one somewhere, someone will have a listing that tells you what it is. Just sell similar. Okay, I will... Uh, try to look at things the chargers and things they should have they should have numbers on yeah I'll try that I will do that look at them look them up that way yeah otter box yeah it's for sue it's for a uh, an older small iPhone it was the one and only otter box that I uh, ever had I put it on my phone 
or maybe the people at the AT&T store put it on my phone for me because I got it there, I remember. They put it on, and I had a heck of a time getting it off. That's what I remember. Boy, when they're on, they're on. <laughs> uh, you use a magnifying glass. Yeah, well, believe me, I have a magnifying glass here all the time. Not only a magnifying glass, I have a jeweler's loop. This belonged to my father-in-law. It clips on your glasses. <laughs> it clips on the side of your glasses, and then these turn, and you can have one or two to come in front of your glasses. And, I mean, this is a huge magnification. You can see anything on it with these, which I needed these because I did find uh, when I was going through my house, uh, first of all, I looked in my dishes. I decided I don't want to sell dishes. I usually buy things by weight. Uh, and that aren't too hard to ship. I have shipped a couple small type dishes that weren't didn't weigh a lot, but I had these uh, these beautiful dishes, and they're made in Italy, and it's a name that's on uh, that I can find on eBay. And they get an okay price. I mean, I have four of them, four plates. They're ten and a half inch plates, I think. And yeah, it would be a nice sale, but the these weigh over a pound a piece. They're ceramic. They weigh over a pound a piece. I would like to sell two at a time, which is over two pounds. So when I looked for a box, it would fit in. It would cost a fortune to, uh, to bundle these up, double box them like you have to do. It's just, it's not something I want to do. Let me put it that way. So, so I uh, went out of my dish room and decided I'd look for little things. So the next place I looked was in my jewelry box, old jewelry. I have old jewelry, okay? I did find an old brooch, no name on it though, and some earrings that don't really match, but they sort of go with it. I'll put that together, won't get much. I found one of my old nurse's watches, it's by Timex, needs a battery. Now this is only selling for like $15 with a new battery in it, so I'd have to pay like six bucks for a new battery. So not much am I going to get that. But it's almost like new. It's my watches with second hands because I was a nurse when we used to count, count the pulse rate, you know, ourselves instead of doing it on a machine. I found one good piece of jewelry. Uh, I thought... This was sterling because it was all tarnished. So I shined it up and looked at the ends, and it is marked sterling, and that's where, when I used my little jeweler's loop. And it had a name on it, which is Otis. So I looked up Otis Sterling Jewelry. And this, this Otis Sterling Jewelry, bracelets and necklaces and things, go anywhere from $80 up. And this is just rhinestones. God, I hope it's not diamonds. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. I can tell by the back it's not real diamonds. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty little rhinestone tennis bracelet. And it's vintage. So I'm going to list this for sure. I wanted to ask anybody that does a lot of photography, Yes, we need to have a garage sale. I wish we would do that when you're up here sometime. It would be fun. Probably cubic zirconia. I don't know if it's 
if it would be cubic after it's um because it's is old it is vintage so i'm not sure whether it's cubic or whether it's rhinestones but uh what makes you think it's cubic zirconia posh planet do you do jewelry Make a listing for those dishes and sell them as replacement dishes. What one at a time? I know, but it's the shipping. It's the shipping that's the problem for me. I want to know. This is very sparkly, especially I have a um, LED light over there. Makes it really sparkly. But you know, when you take pictures of it. The camera does not pick up the sparkle. And it would be so nice if the camera picked up that uh, sparkle, but it doesn't. I've tried all different ways of getting it to uh, photograph uh, like that. But anyway, that's the best piece of jewelry I did find. I did find some little brooches with uh, a needlepoint. Older brooches with needlepoint on and some other uh, cameo, not real cameos, but uh, little lockets and things. So I'm going to list them. At least they're very, very easy. Weiss, I know. I had a long time ago, I forget how many years ago, when I first started selling on eBay, I did sell, I did have better jewelry. I don't have, it's gone now, but I did have Weiss and I did have uh, Eisenberg ice, several pieces of it. It was gorgeous. And I did sell it for a good amount of money. And, uh, but that's gone now. That was quite a while ago that I did that. I don't have anything good left really. I was surprised about this piece to tell you the truth. But I will uh, put it on there. Nothing else I have is worth anything other than the things that I'm going to hand down to my daughter. <laughs> so, yes, you're trying to think of the name, Eisenberg Ice. Yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. A friend, my mother's best friend gave it to me. And she gave it to me to sell uh, she, when I first started on eBay. And then she passed away shortly after that. Her name was Hannah. Sue, remember Hannah? Mm. So, uh, what else did I have to do? I have some fake pearls and some old earrings and things like that. Uh, nice ice. Yeah, very nice ice. <sighs> Almost like diamond ice. Mm. So, I don't know. Things that are more up my alley to ship are these. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Put these on, little stuffed animals. I'm just looking at the things around my house to clear out my house and uh, uh, make a few bucks. I have a uh, bobblehead still in the box of Kevin Love and the Cavs. It was a giveaway on November 26, 2018. Uh, the only problem with this is it has some a dent in the box here. And for collectibles, the box is, and a dent right here. I can feel it. Uh, the box is real important on collectibles. But I should be able to get something. It's still all okay inside. It hasn't been taken out. So I have that. Just this and that around my house. But when I find things, it, 
you know, I waste so much. Well, it's not a waste of time, but I have, it takes up so much time to look the things up and that, and that whole time you're doing that, you're not listing. Like if I had a, uh, if I had a, you know, basket full of clothes and I, I'd measure those and they'd all be packaged up ready to list, that, that goes faster for me, even though I am a slow lister, but it's faster than doing all this. Uh, but this also gets rid of stuff in the house. So you have to look at it that way too. So I don't know how Lavender Closet ships all this. The, she ships some big glassware and bowls and things. I don't know how she, she, uh, she does that. Maybe her daughter helps her with the shipping, but that is a lot of work. It's a lot of finding boxes and a lot of double boxing. And it does cost quite a bit to ship like that. So, but that is what I sold this week so far, this past week. Things haven't really picked up that much, even though I like two or three of the, my sales that I got. Uh, I think that I will probably, when I've had enough of this uh, scrounging around the house, I probably will sneak out to the Goodwill <laughs> for some things. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it for this session. <laughs> I will be back on Wednesday for a whatever video. Uh, that always ends up being uh, just a conversation video or uh, I was trying to uh, put things on uh, about my animals and using my GoPro more. So if I record something, I will try to not have it uh, go on immediately and I'll save it uh, to be uploaded on Wednesday. That's what I'm supposed to do, but. Uh, <clears throat> she charges a lot. What do you mean she charges? Uh, she charges a lot. I don't understand what you mean that there. She charges a lot. What do you mean? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Andrea and uh, I don't know if they're still on or no, they're live. Uh, Karen, hi, Karen. You found a few things around the house. Let me put you on here so I can read it better. I found a few things around the house that are household supplies that have been discontinued. So easy to list because of scanning and the UPS, UPC code. Yes, I did put on that soap that I bought, that Kirk, Kirk's soap. That was so easy to list. And I have multiples of it. So uh, I like doing that. So I can see uh, why Lindy Glenn likes... She gets these wholesale shipments of the Bath and Beauty, I think. And I can see where that could become fun to do. But she gets a lot of she gets a lot of throwaway things too on some some of her boxes. So I'd be afraid. Oh, lavender closet. Well, lavender clothesline. I keep calling her closet. Uh she charges a lot. Yes, she does. She charges a lot. She does not take best offer, and she doesn't take returns, if you notice on her, uh, when you walk, look at her store. Uh, no best offer and no returns. And, yeah, she sets her prices pretty high.
So I know because I I was I watch I I read her especially when she's doing more clothes. I was reading her her um, descriptions for because she uses good keywords, descriptive keywords. And I have trouble doing that. My listings sound like a, you know, it's just a, doesn't make you want to buy things like her listings. She's not in a hurry to sell, right? Yeah. Well, I can say that all I want, but I still get upset when I don't sell something. <laughs> so maybe I am more in a hurry to sell than she is. She has so many, though. She has a 3,500 uh, item inventory, and she's always shopping. So I think she does sell probably more than me per week, but they're higher priced items. Dexter, Shh. he knows it's, it's quarter to five. Five o'clock is feeding time, even though I gave him, I gave you half your food already, Dexter. He doesn't care. It's, it's getting too close to his time to eat, and I'm not, not paying attention to him. I wonder if you have a liquidation store anywhere close by that they might carry discontinued items. I don't know of any. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into that. Uh, yeah, his internal clock says feet. Oh, he knows exactly at 5 o'clock. He's, he's very time-oriented to his feeding times. Yeah. It's funny. Oh, he sounds so... Poor little Dexter. So I guess I'll have to close and go feed my poor dog. And uh, I will be back on Wednesday and hope to see you all then. And uh, say goodbye for now. And uh, be good, everybody. Have fun. It was 40, it was 50 degrees today, but it was so windy, it was still cold as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I know, he does sound forlorn. Bye. Bye-bye.